Hey guys, Spartan 117GW here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the 3D Samapo Gear Uniform in M81 Woodland. Now, I've done a couple different reviews on their uniforms, multi-cam, multi-cam black, uh, I even got the Tropic, and of course I have DCU. This is the latest iteration, and this is probably the latest generation of the uniform, because of course the Velcro patterns and everything have changed to mimic the latest versions of what Crya has out on the market. But of course, you're only paying like 140 bucks for a complete set versus just for a pair of pants. Um, what's really cool about this uniform, just feature-wise, like I said, it mimics the real deal very, very well. You have the multi-layered pockets here on the shoulder, which are really nice, gives you a bunch of different options. You can put your tourniquet in there or something like that. Um, you also have a little sleeve right here, I believe. I'm not sure if this is for a pen or whatnot, but all, all the real uniforms have it. But it's a cool little doodad. You also have your cuffs here, which are Velcro, so you can adjust um, the cuffs right here. Personally, I roll them. That's how I like to do it. It gives you a little bit more breathability. It's really never been a problem. Also, obviously, you have the collar right here, full zip all the way to the top, or I guess quarter zip all the way to the top um, from right here. Typically, I run it right around this level where it's kind of zipped up a little bit to kind of protect this area, uh, and also so it doesn't rub on the vest. Uh, but also because, you know, I typically run a gator here, so that covers my neck anyways. But if you want to open it up a little more and get a little more breathability, you can definitely do that. The fabric right here is really, really cool. I believe it's ranger green color fabric, but it matches very, very well. I think the top really looks great with the coyote plate carrier or something in ranger green anyways. But if you want to go with that Marsoc look, go get something coyote or khaki or whatever they call it these days. Um, you also have the pants. The pants are probably the coolest part of the uniform because it's just pockets everywhere. You have the huge cargo pockets. Pockets. They have a little elastic piece inside, so if you have a water bottle or if you have a magazine in said pocket, it's not just willy-nilly, loosey-goosey all over the place. It's nice, tucked, and secured. You also have the pockets in the front. Now, this is typically where I put my dead rag and where I put my bandages if I'm doing a game that has medic rules, because um, it's just easy to get to. You know, the, you don't really have to go dig for like an eye pack or something. They're just right there. Um, you also have the adjustment points in there, so if you want to adjust some parts of the height of the pants basically bring up the little front end a little bit more so it just kind of sits a little bit better. You can adjust that there. You can also adjust the waist of the pants. There's little pieces on the um, on the waist that are attached to the Velcro, so you can kind of cinch it down to the right point and get it in that nice spot without even using a belt. And then once you throw the belt on, you're even more good to go. Um, you also have where the knee pads go, where the inserts basically are. Uh, what's really, really cool is that on this generation of uniform, it is basically designed so that way you have some M81 fabric where the um, stretch fabric would be and then you can actually unvelcro that, fold it out of the way and then you have your stretch fabric there and you just put your knee pads in there. But it's a nice way to protect um, this area without really like damaging any of the stretch fabric that's underneath. And of course the stretch fabric is located um, pretty much right where the butt is, like right in the lower, or the upper butt area. And of course like right in the uh, knee area as well. Uh, and you also have some in the groin too. So you have multiple stretch away fabric in a bunch of different places to help ensure that you're probably not gonna rip your pants if you're operating too much operationally. Um, you also have different points of adjustment on the, on the pants when it comes to right behind the knee or the calf and all the way down at the heel kind of adjust the cuffs of the pants or if you want to make sure that the you know the pants aren't too baggy and they're not flopping all over the place um, you also have little pockets down there by your ankles for your dip cigarettes whatever you want to put in there whatever you airsoft just put in there um, but yeah it's a really cool way to uh, store your gear you can probably put your tqs in there too for like milsom west it's actually another really good spot um, so that is the uniform in its entirety. It's not overly too complex or anything. It mimics the real deal very well. And one thing I recommend is to throw the uniform in the wash a few times because it looks even better. I mean, M81 just looks good when it's gotten its little bit of its day in, a little bit of its use in. It just looks that much more authentic. So make sure you guys check it out. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and go to Samapa's website. This is the Samapa Gear 3D uniform specifically in M81 Woodland. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want to check out some patches, I got patches available on my website. There'll be an entire gear buildup or a little loadout build on my website so you guys can check out and see how to build this setup and along with the other kit that I run with it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.